Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our A4E Skyhawk and we're looking at the, at the AFCS which is essentially this panel here. I'm just framing with the mouse cursor now. Automatic flight control system or just the autopilot as I like to call it. It reminds me of the one in the Harrier actually. It's super simple and just really robust. You can't seem to upset it which is really useful. So let's go over the switches. We've got the kind of master on or off here. So if that's off, then it's off. If it's standby, then it's working. You will need to have it in standby for 30 seconds before it'll work. So it's something that should be factored into your cold start procedure. Next, engage. So if you've got this on off, then the autopilot is not engaged. It's not taking control of, the, of your, con your flight controls. And if you flick it up, then it is engaged and active. Then we've got altitude hold here. If it's off, then it's not holding your altitude. If it's on, then it is holding your altitude. The altitude it will hold is the one that you are at in barometric altitude here in feet once you turn it on. To turn on this switch you have to be roughly level I think less than 4,000 feet per minute but as long as you've roughly got your nose at the uh, horizon uh, then it's going to be okay to turn it on. It doesn't seem to matter what speed you turn it on at. Then we've got the heading select here or the heading hold if it's off if it's off if you turn it on then it will take you to and hold a heading of the heading that selected here and you can change that by mouse scroll wheel on this set here there's also two more switches there's stability augmentation here basically your dampening and there's also the aileron trim here whether you want to trim in normal or if you've lost normal trim then you've got emergency that you can switch to there seems to be some confusion as as to whether this switch and this switch are actually working at the moment if you see a hover above them they say unimplemented but the manuals say that they do work either way i haven't had any need to actually use these two switches so far anyway notes that we do if we look in the adjust controls we do also i go to search afcs we do also have uh, three inputs on the hotas here that you can bind if you so wish Okay, so first thing we're going to do is turn our autopilot to engage. So that's it, the engage mode engaged. And now we can w use one of two autopilot holds. We've got altitude hold here and the heading hold or heading select here. So first of all, we're going to turn on altitude hold. Turn that on. It's now going to keep us set to a particular altitude. That's a barometric, barometric altitude. It'll keep us set to whatever the barometric altitude was here when we press the switch. So that's um, 11,800. And that's going to keep us rigidly fixed. Now, if I were to pull my stick back or forward or right or whatever quite violently, you'll see that that's all. Well, you can probably hear that that's turned the switch off now. So I would have to get my, I'd manually get my um, nose back on the horizon to allow to turn that back on and make sure engage is still engaged. Now, the attitude or the roll of the aircraft doesn't have to be level for this. So the cool thing with this is if I were to just turn the altitude off, hold off, make sure engage is kept on. And I'm going to roll the plane to the right there at about 30 degrees. And I'm now going to turn altitude hold back on. And it's now going to hold me, hold my altitude at 12.0. But it's going to keep this roll so that we can basically circle around a target now with the altitude hold keeping us at a set altitude. So that's, that's a quite a cool feature. I'm going to turn off the altitude hold now. I'm going to level out roughly. Next, we're going to show setting a heading and using the heading hold. So we have the ability to change the selected heading here. It's currently 271 when I was messing around with it. Our current heading at the moment is about 315. So yeah, 271 will take us um, west, basically west, due west. So uh, well, let's just change it a bit to show that we can. Mouse scroll wheel to change. And I'm going to scroll down to 250. That's the heading I want. And all I've got to do is make sure we're roughly against the horizon and we are turn on heading select and it's going to drive us left to heading 248 I've got there so let's give it a chance to do that okay nearly there that will level us off shortly and now it's leveling us and it's going to keep us heading in that direction of 248 now note that our altitude is still changing so to keep our altitude set we can turn altitude hold on and now we've got a combination of heading and altitude hold on at the same time so I can go and have my cup of tea or whatever I want to do now again note that if I pull back on the stick with um, more than 40 pounds simulated pressure bing the modes have gone off engage still stays stays on but the modes heading and altitude have gone off and if we want to turn the autopilot all left off altogether make sure our engage is off and that will automatically turn these two off anyway, but we can keep this master mode to standby and it will not interfere at all. All right, there is a tiny bit more to it, but that's the overview that I wanted to give and uh, gives most of the functionality. I hope that helps and see you later.